Hey guys, right? Come on, today we're going to tell you something. I've actually lied about making plans and then changing my mind, because, well, life, our life is a real life, right? And sometimes ideas change, sometimes things change. Sometimes things happen, something goes wrong and we get all excited, we go there and talk and go on ahead, things don't work out. So I've even seen a lot of people by now and then I see the comments, almost every video has some comment. Oh, it's the house, it's the house, let's move the house. What happened? You didn't talk about it anymore. It's because I really said, I'm not going to talk about this subject anymore until it's a certain thing, a definitive thing. So now it's a certain thing, it's a thing of, right? I hope so. No, now everything's okay. Now it is. Now, we depend on the weather, the weather. Depending on the weather and the third party, right? Yes, the third party's weather. So, look, this past week I ended up closing a deal with the guy who will transport the house. We're going to transport the house. We're going to bring it here. Oh, on the truck. That's already a fact. That's what's going to happen. The date is already set for about two weeks from now. Well, there's just no way, look. This is a job that depends on the weather. He has another job ahead of him and it depends on these other jobs going ahead, depending on the weather cooperating. So for us here, let's say 15 days at least. But let's think about it this way. We're still going to do this transport this year. Let's be realistic, in 2024, as I said at the beginning of the year, in 2024 we're still going to transport this house and we're going to be living here. But then we get into that issue of coming here, of getting around, we have to leave the house, right? Leave the house. And the options we had for me were a little pleasant. Because I'm a person who doesn't like to depend on others and one of the options was maybe for us to stay a few days in Marley so we could empty the house, but not even on my diet could I stay there. Two days, yeah, well, just one night and then I went home and got by. I really don't like it. So, like, it's bad because imagine if you're not inside the house anymore and on top of everything else it's still far away. You have to keep going up and down. So, uh, Ju and I came to the conclusion. Actually it was even her idea, as a minor to set up the tents here and camp up here until the day that, 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 that this house is here, that this house here isn't just ah, I brought the house, we go inside the house. It's not going to be like that. I think it'll still be more than a month before we can get in. Go up to the house. Go up to the house. Because there is, let's see, right? Let's see how this camping thing is going to be. But I don't think it's going to be bad, right? No. We stayed there at the end of the year when we went to get milk in the sad. We slept in a tent here for 20 days. More than 20 days, right? Then the whole vacation, right? It was even after they stopped us, we continued. Yeah, we stayed there during their December vacation, until classes started there. We went the day before they went to class, we went home. And the tents are still small tents and yes. And it got wet and oh what a mess. The mattress was damp and it was still cold on some days. Not cold, but there were days when we had to pull up a blanket. There were days when we had to put the fan on the cheap rope. It was really complicated, but it was fun.
I like this. My god, what an adventure it is. And so what do we do? It's been three years since we've been here, right? We've been here for two years with all our stuff, I think it's two. So, but I think it's been more than two years since we even talked about it in the house, we only had the beds, just the beds. And my computer desk. Yeah, my furniture is like here, only the appliances, the refrigerator, the freezer, the rest, the good stuff was donated. The bad stuff was from my whole life, right? The furniture, linens. My linens that were almost falling apart, right? So then we weren't going to give the other people things that weren't good enough. Yeah, then there was a fire. Marley, what she used there too. I think she took a cabinet there, too there. Put medicine in the desk, things like that and we got rid of the rest. So here my kitchen is all done here, right? It's not mine and the sofa too, the good stuff was donated. The bad stuff was also set on fire. One is still there for the dog to sleep on, right? One was burned. One was burned. The big one was burned. Yeah. So we would come in the morning, bored in the morning, come up. Then in the afternoon, in the evening, always around 8.30, sometimes 9, it depends on something. A little more, a little less. We would go down there every day too. This is our job every day. So, like it or not, it's an extra expense, right? And then there's also two internet connections, so we can cut down a little on expenses. I've already had the internet turned off. It's downstairs and one less mentality. EH, the trip won't change much, because we still have to take the milk down there. EH, we still have to get the internet, so it won't change much. But before, so two less trips, right? Yeah. Before we had to do the same thing. That's the least of it, that's the least of it. The important thing is that it doesn't start today, because the tent has to arrive, there's a tent that we made, uh, it has to arrive, so we'll probably only do this tomorrow. I mean, today we're still going to sleep down there, we're still going home, I mean, and from tomorrow the deal is over, you'll see. I'm going to do something so that it stays there now. Do you understand? When we put the cockroaches up there, it rained, it dampened the little stones, the water. And this time we're going to do it differently, you'll see. I already have a plan in my head to do something that will be as comfortable and dry as possible for our tents and in a better place. Yes, since we don't know how many days or months, I think it will definitely take us a month to stay and we wouldn't even be able to do it here. Here it's bigger to do it, but free, right? But then the house will move here and it would get in the way with the big tent here and it's a much bigger tent. This is moving, so it's going to be better down there. Yes, there's no traffic down there. But there's a patch of grass there, come on. It was already bad, the patch will end up dying because it's going to be covered. But. Then we have another plan down here too. Yes, but that's another story. Yes. And that's it. Now we're going there, like, now we've reached the ETA, the final ETA for the move, like, the house is going to come. We're going to have to spend a few days there, right? Oh, we're going to have to spend a few difficult days, a few bad days, something like that. I think it's going to be another really good experience and I'm sure that in the end we're going to miss sleeping on the boats, fool us. Yes, it's going to be an adventure for them, it's another memory that they're going to have to tell and think is cool. And we, I just hope my back doesn't hurt during those days, right? Question mark, because lifting the floor won't. But then I'll sleep in the hammock, right? How many nights have we slept in the hammocks here? Only in the hammock for one or two nights, ten. It's even.
one night so that it's not possible. And then in the meantime we'll go there emptying the house and... There's the clothes, right? Because then there's nowhere to bring them here. Then it'll also be another matter of packing the clothes to put I don't know what we're going to put, because there's no place here. I thought I'd put them on top of a couture's tent. House tent. Right? So there's no danger of animals and things getting inside and put the tarp inside and bring it and put it under the shed. I don't think there'll be any action. You can't climb up on it then and it's fine. I don't think they know it's not possible to climb up. Yes, I have a lot of bed linen like that covered and I have a lot of this. And Julia has a lot of clothes that Julia got from when she was 16. I have them there. So I have a lot of those too to store, but besides that, we both have a backpack and... Everything here, yes. There's not even any clothes down there. I have a lot of winter there too. There's no use for the house anymore. But that's... It for me. Today is the last day of going up and down. Another thing is that sometimes... I want to do something, like cookies, for example. But I can't do it because either I start really early to finish it or I don't do it. Because then when a certain time comes, I have to leave. I can't stay here now. Now, if I want to do it and finish painting them by 11. That's fine too. Oh, it'll be much better. Everything will be calmer. Everything will be easier when I get there too. Weekends. Just like us on the weekends, we go up here at 6 in the morning, we have to wake up the kids. If it's a rainy day or if they don't want to get up, they want to stay asleep, no one has to wait for anyone. No one has to get ahead of anyone. It's really good. It's a, it's a sacrifice. I don't know if it's a sacrifice, it's a. I think we see sacrifice now, I think now it's going to be. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's going to be calmer, calmer, yeah. Let's try to be as comfortable as possible. I also bought a mattress, and they'll bring a double mattress to put in the cabin, which is really good. And that's it. Now, in the next few days, you'll see us setting up our camp, doing our things there. And then, let's say, it's not going to be the same routine, right? We'll keep doing other things and stuff, but anyway, as soon as the guy there is free to do the transport, we'll bring this house there and things will be different. Let's see how it goes. The house will arrive in one piece. Oh, I think it's pretty well tied. Wow, I've seen some old barns overflowing. That house there is good. Right? Very strong, very well built. But that's it, you'll see in the next videos this phase of our journey, which will actually be, from the moment we get here, it will be the end of a cycle, right? Of one cycle. Showing another, you. No. I have many other things to do and more. Anyway, it will be a milestone. Yeah. And how much did we give this idea to ourselves when we had it? Because we already had ideas, right? And I, honestly, I don't, I'm happy to know that we can change our minds several times and, and reorganize the route and, and add it up again and see that the option wasn't good than having done things, fits and starts, and then regretting it and not being able to. No, now I can't because now it's been spent. I can't. It didn't turn out well and I can't undo it. I have to stay now. Yes. No, so we're good with our feet on the ground and doing things very calmly, right? And I'll probably still have my taste that I always have. Dot. Yeah. Just a. Carl's dream. Just.
A spoiler. Just a little spoiler. Anyway, let's let things happen. As they happen, I'll show you. And now that's it. Take it.